like to welcome you once again to Rama Gospel Express. Choo choo! Uh, yes, my name is James Lockhart from KROV FM Radio. You can tune in every Sunday morning from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. We're live, we're live, reaching around the globe. Yes, we are. Starting off on Sunday morning is my sister, Nina Taylor, coming out of Ohio. Yes, playing many of the very best in gospel music. And not only is she playing many of the very best in gospel music, but every now and then she slips in and interviews upcoming artists, national artists, on KROV FM. And I step on board the gospel train uh, about 7.30 or 7.45. And we want you to know that we are live. And I continue to talk to many uh, that are here in the San Antonio area, as well as upcoming artists. And we want you to know it's something else. And joining me is my co-host, Legacy City, right here in the city of San Antonio. Uh, he steps on with me, as well as JJ, J, 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 I call it JJ, J, J, Jameson. And we keep it live, keep it live. I'd like to say hello, cuz. My cuz James Boke is watching, as well as my son in Austin, Texas, Sidney Johnson. Thank you for tuning in. Angela, thank you for tuning in. Standing by, waiting on my sister. Yes, that's in Ohio. She'll be stepping on. Uh, her name is Nina Taylor. Nina Taylor kicks it off for me in the morning. Nina kicks it off starting off at 6 a.m. playing the music that you love to hear. And we want you to know we care about what's going on. The Lord has blessed us. The Lord has blessed us. Matter of fact, Nina's calling me right now. Let me see what she has to say. Nina. What page are you on? I don't see nothing. Oh, Nina, I'm on. I'm live. I'm live right now. And whoo, we have five people that are listening to this conversation right now. <laughs> Nina's in Ohio and she's also uh, on the air in Ohio and she's doing great things. She's over 24 other, I believe it's 24 others networks. Uh, States, excuse me, 24 other states, and she's been doing this for quite a while. She started helping me back in about about five years ago and doing the gospel news. And she also does, still does the gospel news on KROV. The, um, we're excited about all that's going on. Tonight, we're just going to, we're just going to talk. We're going to, we're going to be able to share and going to just reminisce a little bit. You know, as I said, the program together. Women don't have it together. But we're gonna we're gonna talk about some issues. Lately, we've been talking to Nina about her experiences with men, and <laughs> then she shared a little bit about <laughs> others, uh people. But we're gonna get off the ladies. We're gonna get off the ladies. Uh, hello, Nina. Hey. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Nina, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna jump right into this. We're gonna yeah. jump right into this. Okay. You know, we've been talking about the ladies okay. for so long, so we're gonna uh, lighten up on the ladies today. Is that okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna start it off because um, you know I remember when I lived in Dallas. I lived yeah. in Dallas, Texas, and yeah. now. We well before I go into that, that the saying that you use, think like a man. No, act like a man act and like think like lady. a lady. Is that what you say? Act like a lady, think like a man. Act like a lady, think like a man. Yes. Okay, and that's pretty much hard for us men to do at times because <laughs> we, you know, <laughs> that's pretty hard for us to do. Act like a lady, but think like a man. I like the other way. <laughs> Act like a man, but think like a lady. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but let me go. The um, we were in. I was in Dallas, and I and a friend of mine walked into the store, and and he was with his wife. Mm -hmm. 
And my friend looked at this young lady. She had a name tag on. <laughs> and when he looked at the young lady, he's like, hey, Rosalind, how you doing, girl? <laughs> and she looked at him. And he said, oh, girl, don't you looking at me like you don't know who I am. Remember back in back in when we were in school and we used to kick it together? Yeah. Now understand, her boyfriend was standing right there. And he, <laughs> he was well like, enough. You know, he, yeah, he, yeah. Then all of a sudden, uh, my friend's wife looked at the man and said, sir, calm down, calm down. He don't know her. He's just playing. And he's like, what? Yeah. He don't know her. He's from San Antonio. Uh -huh. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, uh -huh. and, and she walked away. Now, he thought it was funny. Yeah. I was looking at it. I thought it was funny, too. Yeah. But the ladies didn't think it was funny. What's up with that? Well, I could see if that happened to me and some strange guy just came out of nowhere and started yelling out my name like that, and I was with a guy who, you know, may be a little bit jealous, yeah, uh, you'd be like, wait a minute, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just causing problems in, in their relationship when there wasn't any. You know, he was just playing, but her boyfriend didn't know that, you know. He could have been just trying to cover it up after he saw he was getting upset, you know, so... Yeah, I mean, people are just, some people are just a little bit too insecure, and it, it it's bad for a relationship, you know. You, it, it's easy to say, well, you know, I'm not jealous, but then when something happens, then, you know, you're swelling up and getting all crazy over nothing, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, let's, let me, I'm going to go to another scenario. Okay, wait, I got one. Okay, let's, okay. <laughs> let's talk about people being in the friend zone. Uh, and okay. when I say the friend zone, meaning, okay, you and I, we, we met, we're sort of attracted to each other, but, you know, for whatever reason, one person just says, I just want to be friends. But yet, you're with the person a lot, you're talking to them every day, you're spending time together, you're going out or whatever, People are starting to notice that you two are, you know, and they're like asking questions. You know, hey, what's going on? Are you, are you guys, what's going on? You're a couple? Are you seeing her? Are you seeing him? Or whatever. And, you know, nobody really says anything. Just kind of smile and like, oh, you know, yeah, you know, we're friends. We're friends, whatever. And that's it. But then you put into a situation where uh, someone asks, like, say, for example, uh, you're, you're at a, a social function with uh, a young you were friends. You went there with friends. And as I was sharing just before you came back on, what you were sharing mm -hmm. before we were cut off, mm -hmm. that when you go someplace as a friend, don't flip the script. Continue <laughs> to be friends. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> you know, don't flip the script, you know. And because the brother just flipped the script, oh, this is my woman. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, and then when he leave from there, exactly. in his mind, I would really assume he's going to continue to think, maybe <laughs> I do have a chance for her being my woman. But if he, <laughs> but me, if I heard that, mm -hmm. uh, if I had, a, if he had a chance, he just blew it. <laughs> But, I mean, that's, you know, men like to look good. Men mm -hmm. like to look good in front yes. of their friends. Absolutely. You know, I mean, oh, I remember when I was. Too. Women do, too. We like to look good in front of our friends and our family. And, you know, there's a lot of us who were, not me, you know. I, I, I'm happy with, if I'm happy, then I'm happy. But it doesn't matter um, to some people, some people that are like that, where, you know, appearances are everything. Now, hi, Shirley, and hi, uh, Mom G, and everybody who's tuning in, uh, Dale, and um, Shirley Weber. How you doing, Shirley? Um, we're talking about, uh, well, I was talking about the friend zone. You know, uh, when, when is the friend zone too much? When is it time to come out? 
come out from being friends? Well, yeah, it's like or come out with what you really thinking. Well, no, as a I friend. mean, I think as friends, because like I said, I have I have male friends, and that's just what they are. They're just friends, and there's there's boundaries to friendship, you know, where if it's it's going beyond because. This is one thing that I make clear to anyone who's interested in dating me. I'm not looking for no boyfriend. I'm looking for a potential husband. And if you don't think that is something that could possibly come into your brain anytime in the future, then we don't need to be nothing. <laughs> I, don't, I got lots of male friends already, and that's just not what I need. You know, I'm looking for a what? potential husband. And that's the only... Way the only reason why I'm dating you is because I think that you could be a potential husband. Now, if it's found out that that's not true, then that's it, you know. But so this whole friend zone thing, but yet I want to date you like we're dating. That's that's not going to work. And anybody who goes into that, you know, they need to rethink it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think you hit one one of the things that a lot of men. Mm -hmm. don't realize because number one they wasn't taught mm -hmm. and that word that you use was boundaries yes you know i remember years ago i went over to a lady's house and i mean you know mm -hmm. we were seeing each other mm -hmm. so i walk into a house and i walk over to the tv and cut it on <laughs> she came out and cut it off <laughs> and i'm like i cut it back on <laughs> and she came in, cut it back off. And I'm like, What do you think you're doing what? touching my TV? You yeah, broke the boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, You know, now I'm thinking, Well, we're talking to each other. Yeah. It's cool. So why can't I touch your TV? But, no. Yeah. One minute TV, yeah. next thing is something else. No. No, when Don't you. Touch my TV. I mean, you know, and she said, when you walk into, when you come into somebody's house, you ask if you can cut their TV on. Amen. You know, and I'm like, huh? She said, boundaries. And go. I'm like, boundaries? <laughs> yes. But, you know, and I'm like, she said, boundaries. Well, then, may I sit down on your couch? <laughs> you, <Maybe>. know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but... But if you don't, if you never was taught that, then you don't know. Men will just take it for granted. Exactly. That, you know, and that's one of the areas that we, where we really mess up at in life and, and talking, to, talking to females mm -hmm. because of the fact, and I guess the words that was coming to my mind, even though you're talking to each other, but they also still want you to respect them and what they have. Exactly. Hi, Pam. Hi, Miss Debbie. How you doing, Deborah Kaufman? Oh, she's such a sweetie. I love her. <laughs> like to say hello, hello, hello to everybody. Hello, Pam. Hello, Miss Weber. Miss Weber has a book that talks about dating. Okay. And now, those of you that are watching, please feel free to join in. Please feel free to join in. And um, one of the things that... Um, can I give another scenario? Sure. Okay. There was a gentleman on his way to work. And when he went to work, uh, he was talking to his friend. On the phone, right? On the phone. Yeah. Yes. Cell phone. Yes. And, and they were talking, and he was about to get some gas. So when he pulls up, he sees this the Spanish lady, and guess what? Her costume on didn't want to say the wrong thing, but it was like it was a little funny to the man. So you know, okay, she had, let me just so wait, wait a he was on the phone talking to someone already, right? Yeah, he was on the okay. phone talking. To yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So when he when when he pulls up, he sees the Spanish lady putting get pumping gas in the car. Yes. She's pumping gas in the car. Yes. And. Then, you know, and he's always trying to grasp hold of something mm -hmm. so he can bring up a conversation a little bit later about the response that he got. Okay. You know, so he like, and he didn't want to say the wrong thing because she had wings up here, but she had a tail <laughs> that was like. It was some kind of costume, right? basically. Right. 
Okay. So he looks out at the lady and yes. says, uh, excuse me, ma'am, are you a real angel? You know, and she turned around, oh, 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 you know, and mm -hmm. he looks back at her and said, I just asked, yeah. you know, and then he drives around, yeah. you know, to go, park. but now the, then he tells the person that he's talking to on the phone, mm -hmm. on the phone yeah. that, uh, let me call you back as soon as I get some gas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So what happened? Well, she just hung up the phone. Okay. <laughs> and, and he's like, but then when he gets to work, because I mean, you know, it's bothering because he tried to call her back and she uh -huh. wouldn't answer. She's so upset. when he gets to work, he asked, her, huh? She's upset. Okay. Well, let me tell you what. If I were on the telephone talking to a man and he says, oh, oh you know, I'm, ta I'm pulling into a gas station and I hear him yelling out the window, I'm assuming you were yelling from the car uh, at another woman, regardless. I mean, to me, that, you know, it sounds like, and I could see how uh, she could take this as, you know, I'm on the phone here and you're flirting with another woman, like right in my ear, really? He wasn't flirting. In your mind. thinking about singing the song that God's messenger sing. The devil don't want you to hear me, hear me. The devil don't want you to hear me, hear me. Okay, I won't. I'll stick to the radio right here on KROV FM. We want you, now, but we want you to know that, um, you know, as brothers leaving off and I was sharing with how that sometimes we can say the wrong thing. Brothers can say the wrong thing, not meaning to say the wrong thing, but if we would stop sometimes and think about what to say before we say it, because we may not mean any harm, but yet how does it sound to the other person that is listening? And we may have something else in mind, but then at all times that it can cause a great effect on the person that's listening to you. And it doesn't have to be the one that you're talking to, um, if it be by phone, but it can be just a listening ear. And it doesn't matter how young you are, it doesn't matter how old you are, but sometimes it happens. But as we continue to live, you know, we get better. You know, when you by yourself, when you're single, when you're by yourself, it's it's one thing. But when you get into a relationship, um, you know it's. And if you're in a fresh relationship, and for those of you that are thinking about getting into a relationship, you have to stop and think about the one that you're with because. That person that you're speaking to can be very gentle. And as I share with everyone, hold on, Nina. As I share with everyone, the majority of the people on this earth have been hurt one time or another. So the words that you say can, you again, you may not mean any harm, but it can be damaging to the other person. Okay, go ahead, Nina. 
I for Huh? About the guy uh, flirting at the gas station. Uh, I could see where she could take it that way. Um, just uh, some women are just really sensitive, and um, that's even happened to me once. I was talking to someone on the telephone, and he was just screaming out the window at some female. I think he didn't know her, and he totally just forgot that I was even on the phone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he forgot I was on the phone, and he was just talking, and I think he laid the phone down in the car because I could just hear everything. It wasn't any flirting. It was like, hey, how you doing? Oh, I haven't seen you in 100 years. Oh, I haven't seen you since high school. This whole thing. And I was like, really? You know, it must have been awfully, you know what I mean? For You're driving down the street and someone catches your eye and you just forget you're even on a telephone. You know? <laughs> and I'm saying that the guy in your scenario did that, but that's happened to me. And I was very upset. And that was actually the last time we spoke, too. <laughs> well, like I said, the brother went to went to the job, mm -hmm. talked to one of his co-workers, mm -hmm. and his co-worker basically said the same thing that you just said. Yeah. And he, um, you know, so, you know, he... He's just going through his moment right now, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah, I think he should give it a couple of days, you know, let her calm down, cool off. Uh, I'm pretty sure he probably tried to call her back and all that. I think he should just give it a couple of days, let her calm down, and maybe let her try to contact him, see if that works, you know. But definitely wait a few days because she's still upset. It just happened. Um, everybody needs a minute when they've been upset that way, you know. And it's silly, yes. It is silly, but um, it comes from knowing the person that you're with. And, and I'm assuming that they're not even a couple. They were just probably talking on the phone, you know. I, know I, wouldn't, see, I wouldn't lose my mind over anything like that, but a lot of women would, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. It okay. depends on the mindset of the person and the, the, the status of the relationship. And let's talk about this, too. Um Actually, I was talking about this with a couple of girlfriends. You remember when we had our little girls night out a couple of weeks ago? And she was kind of, you know, Facebook is, is, is a powerful tool. Um, she said that he still, I'm trying to quote her exactly, he still has pictures of his ex on his Facebook page. And he hasn't changed his status to I'm in a relationship with XYZ. You know, and I was like, well, so what? You know, you're together. I mean, you're with the man all the time. You'd be with him right now if you weren't with us. What well, <laughs> is that? You, you know what I mean? It's like, is that important? I see that's another thing. I could care less on what you're putting, you know, what you're posting up on social media that says, you know, you're in a relationship or whatever. Um, most people don't even care anyway, you know. <laughs> You, I see people that have, uh, you know, I know people who actually have that they're married, who they're married to, and they said they still get pictures, new pictures of people or whatever, you know, so I don't think it really stops anything. I think if they're looking for a husband or a wife, maybe that's the only thing <laughs> that it's going to stop, but it doesn't stop them from reaching out to you if they want to reach out to you. So um, I don't really care about that. He doesn't have to, you know, if I ever get in a relationship, he doesn't have to declare it on social media for it to be real, to validate me. I don't need to be um, validated on social media like that. Well, I'm going to tell you, if I'm spending a lot of time with a lady, <laughs> you ain't got to say we together. Because we together. <laughs> exactly. Okay, well, let's see. Denitra Thomas says, hi. She says, good evening. How you doing, Prophetess Thomas? Thanks for tuning in. But I don't. I think all this validation. I mean, how does that? How does that cement a relationship? All this. Okay. Well, he put it on his Facebook page, so it must be real. You know. <laughs> well, well, you gotta look at. In, I mean, insecurity. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, if you're insecure about something, then you need validation. Yeah. You know, um, I mean. 
if you have a pair of shoes, you you know, hey, I'm going to put these shoes on. It's okay. You have a car. You don't need validation to drive your car. Get to get your key. Drive your car. <laughs> if you with somebody, enjoy yeah. the moment. And time will take its course. And yeah, I, those of you Don't you think that now it just takes so much to be in a relationship? You know, like I said, I've only been single since uh, 2011. So a lot has changed. You know, a lot has changed since the last time I dated, which was around, uh, not, you know, late 90s to 2003. Uh, a lot has changed. <laughs> you know, uh, social media has changed the way everybody does everything. Well, it, you know, and it, 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 it still falls back down to the basic. Mm -hmm. You know, there's only, you know, you, there's a new, well, I call them still new, but mm -hmm. the temptations got a lot of new members. And I only <laughs> like one song that the Temptations sing. <laughs> Treat her like a lady. <laughs> you know, and but when you talk about treating a woman like a lady, uh -huh. again, it goes back to respect, mm -hmm. boundary. A woman has boundaries. Men has boundaries. Yeah. But in our society today, everybody's thrown the boundaries out. You know, Not and you know, <laughs> no. I mean, even even in marriage, people don't mm -hmm. want to get married because, well, I get sick and tired of you, I can leave. You know, um, I can leave. And even folks that um, I was talking to a lady, uh oh, uh oh, wait, wait, prophetess is talking, patience. Mm -hmm. And let God lead you. If that's the person for you, mm -hmm. God will let you know you are worth the wait. Amen. 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 Yes, and then uh, what the mail says: respect is the key. Definitely mm -hmm. respect. Respect first. Communication. Absolutely. You know. Exactly. Um, and we're so used to talking at one another. Talk to me, and if a, and I'm gonna say this. I mean, you know, I'm gonna say this. I'm, 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 I'm not gonna get on the sisters this week. <laughs> but mm -hmm. if a brother say something wrong, at least talk to him and like, hey, I didn't appreciate that. Yeah, you know, don't go off of remembering what somebody else did. Yeah. Hey, this is another man. Or vice versa, if a sister say something wrong, mm -hmm. hey, I don't appreciate that. But talk to each other. Because if you're planning on being with an individual, it's important for you have that opportunity, ladies, to shape that man. Men, you have that opportunity to shape that woman. We all make mistakes. You know, but the thing about it is, is that when you make mistakes, hey, you, you've got to hang on in there. If you're looking for to be with that person. Now, boyfriend and girlfriend, hey, you're on your own on that. I mean, you know, <laughs> that ain't, uh -huh. I can't help you there. That yeah. ain't God. You know, because the word says, how can two walk together unless they agree? And what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. But you've got to talk to each other. Take mm -hmm. the mask off. <laughs> Amen goes right there. <laughs> You're right. You're right. But one of the things is, is that we need to get back to the word of God. The word. Well, I, I can't contain my, the word of God can contain you. My grandmama always used to say, go jump in a cold tub of water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grandma. <laughs> be back with us next week at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oh, it's going to be live. I love you. Thank you for being with us. Hi, Dale. <laughs> next week. Say good night, Nina. Good night. Good night, everybody. And always remember if you go with God, God will go with you. Be blessed.